I wanted to invite you dito sa ating stock update touch point. We usually do this internally sa team and students but dahil magpapasko naman at malapit na mag New Year, this would be my early gift available for the public viewing. Join us and save the date. It would be December 18, 2021 at 8 to 10 p.m. via Zoom meeting. So kung itatanong ninyo sa akin ano-ano nga ba ang matututunan ninyo dito, we will be discussing our greatest stock picks of 2021. Papaano ba namin na spot yung mga stocks na yun para matutunan ninyo so that in the future, makita din ninyo yung mga setup na nakikita namin bago namin pinasok yung mga stock na yun. We will also be discussing yung mga invaluable lessons na mga natutunan natin this year and to set our goals for greater 2022. Don't miss this chance dahil minsan lang namin ito ino-offer sa public. You can invite your friends and family to attend this, no limit. Just go to the registration link dito sa comment section and register your name and email so we can send you the link before the said event. Hello team, good afternoon. Pag-usapan natin itong naging performance ni Medic or Medilines at reviewin natin kung ano ang nangyari sa kanya during the trading day para at least sa mga newbie pa lang or nag observe pa lang on how to trade properly ay mapulutan ninyo ng aral itong nangyari kay Medic. And for those advanced traders or aggressive traders na kumuha or nag-avail during the offer period, I hope na sunod ninyo yung trading plan natin strictly and you had cut your losses accordingly. Simulan natin sa trading plan and as you can see, we have created the trading plan of Medic last November. At meron tayong video recording dito na detailed explanation about our expectation with Medic. You can review it or rewatch it para makita ninyo kung ano nga ba ang talagang nangyari after the discussion. But for now, we will have to cut the long story short and we will base it from the written trading plan. And as we have already discussed at yung final verdict natin, meron tayo mga red flags. So bullets number 2, 3, and 4. So if you think yourself as a long-term investor, kunwari naniniwala ka sa company ni Medilines, nabanggit ko dito na a large chance of their revenue is coming from the DOH which is highly subjective to a political risk. So, again, a big red flag for investors. So, kung medyo investor something in mo sa sarili mo, medyo dapat out of the picture ka na, medyo avoid ka na dapat. Okay? So, kung newbie ka naman, sinabi ko dito na it is extremely not for newbie. So, kung newbie ka pero gusto mong matutunan, observe ka, nood-nood ka muna, or kung gusto mo, kung talaga hindi mo may iwasan, pwede kang bumili, board lot lang, or mag-paper trade ka. Again, this is not for newbie. Now, for conservative traders na sabi natin, uh, ano na, advanced traders na profitable na year in, year out. So, kung conservative traders ka, again, dapat nasunod mo yung scenario. Scenario 1, scenario 2, 3, and 4. So, kapag ka nangyari yung scenario 1, dapat hindi ka bumili. Pag scenario number 2 or 3, dapat uh, alam mo yung gagawin mo. Kung kunwari, papasok ka, bibili ka. Yung mga ganon. So, however, ito yung uh, sadly, kung highly aggressive traders ka, tapos uh, sabi natin consistently profitable trader ka, meron na akong sinabing uh, buy recommendation to subscribe at 2.30 pesos per share with proper risk management and portfolio allocation and proceed to the following scenario upon the listing date. So, ako very transparent ako sa inyo na bumili ako nito pero konti lang because I already mentioned uh, in, uh, in my previous video discussion na kung bibili kayo ng medic, medyo-medyo han na lang. Hindi siya yung katulad kay Aldi. Kung kunwari ang allocation mo kay Aldi, sabi natin 100,000, sabi ko, ba Medyo kalahati lang yung bilhin mo kasi hindi natin uh, predictable yung mangyayari kay medic because of the uh, uncertainties dito sa mga red flag na ito. So in case kunwari nag-try ka, ba uh, dapat pagka na-hit yung scenario number 1, di ako nagkulang sa paalala. ba lagi ako nagme-message sa inyo sa group chat natin na scenario number 1 has been met. ba Ito yung tinamaan during the opening price because it is down at the opening price below 2.30 pesos per share or worse. Na meron 30% probability depending sa market sentiment. Siguro yung market sentiment, holiday bukas, so inisip nila magbenta. Hindi natin alam yung dahilan nila kung bakit sila nagbenta, pero ito yung trading plan natin, di ba? Sell all at once, gain or loss if price did not hold 2.30 pesos per share. 
Now, let us go back and review that chart kung tama nga ba yung ginawa natin. Kung kunwari, nag-sell ka at the opening price at 1.99 pesos per share dahil hindi naman na met or na meet yung scenario 2, 3, and 4. So, we will uh, have to discard it. No? Di na natin pag-uusapan yan. So, with Medic, kung titingnan ninyo sa intraday, no? 3-minute intraday chart, nag-open siya ng 0.99 on the first 3 minute, umangat siya up to like uh, 2.12 pesos per share. So, just in case, kunwari, bumili ka at 2.3 pesos per share, ayan, sabi natin dito ka bumili, ang maximum losses mo, or a minimum losses mo rather, kung nabenta mo siya sa pinakataas dito sa high na 2.12 pesos per share is around 7 or 8 percent. Okay? Pero kung sa opening ka nagbenta, katulad ko, opening ako nagbenta, you have incurred around 11 percent in losses. So, sabi natin, damaging siya, medyo masakit yan, pero recoverable. Kaysa naman, inantay mo mag-flooring, ba? Kasi kapag inantay mo mag-flooring yan, edi down ka ng negative 30 percent. ba? So, mas malala to. Ipit ka talaga, masusunog yung port mo. Kaya nga, the trading plan is there in order to guide you and protect your capital para hindi kayo malugi or maipit ng malaki. So, sa mga nagtatanong, uh, losses is normal when you are trader. It is similar to sabi natin cook ka or chef ka, mapapasok ka, normal yun, matatalsikan ka ng mantika, normal yun. And most of you here, alam ko, business owners kayo, uh, normal naman yun na malugi kayo minsan sa negosyo dahil merong sabi natin bad season or bad month or mahinang ano, uh, sabi natin mahina yung benta, mahinang quarter. So, normal lang yun na magkakaroon kayo ng mga ganyan losses. And even with sabi na natin na, uh, kunwari, chef cook ka, no? Imposibleng hindi ka mapaso, imposibleng hindi ka maano. And worst case nga, minsan, uh, baka nga masunugan ka, di ba? Kunwari, napasok ka, nagkaroon ka ng uh, first degree or second degree burn, hindi natin masabi yun. Kasi normal yun, if you are conducting that kind of career, imposible hindi ka mapapaso on your, uh, sabi natin, 5-year career, 10-year career, so, ganun din sa trading, di ba? So, 5-year trading, 10-year trading ka na, imposible yung hindi ka matalo, no? So, at least, you have to mitigate that losses. Dapat meron kang risk management. Hindi ka dapat nag-go all-in na, uy, akala ko, ganito, ganyan. So, at least, di ba, ngayon, ito yung pinaka-best example for us na to learn. Kasi, hindi nyo pa nakikita or na-experience na IPO flooring on the first day. So, at least, ito, uh, pinaka worst case IPO in the history of PSE, ba? I don't know kung merong nangyari nagkaroon ng IPO tapos flooring pero ito yung naabutan ko at as far as I can remember ito lang yung IPO na flooring on the first day itself. So ayan. So just in case kunwari lang ha, uh, sabi nating uh, naglagay kayo ng sabi nating kalahati lang 25,000 shares lang. Bumili kayo at 2.30 pesos per share. Kasi kunwari, 100,000 yung capital mo dun sa oldie, pero sabi ko nga, di ba, kalahati lang or medya-medyahan nyo lang. So, kung nabenta nyo ng 1.99, medyo masakit to, 15% in losses, pero at least recoverable yan. And sabihin mo na lang na parang nabawasan ka lang ng konti dun sa gain mo kay oldie, di ba? So, ayun lang. Pero kung nabenta mo to, at the flooring, you have a paper loss of around 17 or 18,000. So, medyo masakit yan. Hindi na recoverable yan. Talagang damaging yan sa portfolio mo. No? So, ayun lang. So, kung may kita mo yung structure ng candle sa daily pa lang, may kita mo na ang laki ng selling pressure. No? From 2.12 pesos per share, binuhusan no? hanggang uh, 1.99 or 2 pesos per share. And kung may kita ninyo, intraday, nag stabilize siya dito sa may 1.70, strongest support, pero nahihirapan na nga siya sa 1.8 pesos per share. So, dapat during those period, dapat nag-iisip ka na na to cut your losses. Just in case, kunwari 1.8, medyo malalim, medyo masakit na to. Medyo delay ka na kapag ka 1.8 mo na benta or worse, 1.7 pesos per share. Uh, now, pag-usapan natin kung ano yung gagawin mo just in case may kaibigan ka or kakilala kang naipit kay medic because I expect hindi ka may ipit dito with all the precautionary measures na paulit-ulit kong sinabi sa video ko, nag-discuss tayo and even dun sa trading plan natin, tapos uh, dun sa mga group chat. And at the same time, to address the public viewers na rin dahil 
uh, i-share ko din to sa public para at least aware sila. This book, Earning Your First Million in Stock, will teach you the basic principles of fundamental analysis, technical analysis, market psychology, risk management, self-management, and a successful trading system itself. I really believe in order for you to become a consistently profitable trader, kailangan ma-master mo yung limang components na nabanggit ko kanina because they will serve you as an important ingredient in creating your own successful trading journey. Parang if you plan to bake some cookies, hindi po pwedeng mawala kahit isang basic component or else your baking would be a failure. You cannot bake without a floor or a sukal lang ang meron ka, di ba? So, ganun din sa trading. Hindi pwede mag-trade ka na walang technical analysis, merong funda, pero minsan walang market psychology or walang risk management. It is a complete system or trading system na igaguide ko kayo within this book para matuto kayo. Besides that, in this book, I will share you a compilation of my successful trades of not less than 50% in gains throughout my entire 4-year trading career para maaral ninyo at ma-apply nyo sa real-world trading. What if bumili sila ng IPO 2.30 pesos per share na ipit sila? Ano yung dapat nilang gawin? So, kung 2.30 yung binili mo, diba? negative 30% ka na approximately pagka hindi mo nabenta yan. So, you have two things. Una, i-assess mo yung position mo. Kung malaki yung position nila or yung mga kaibigan mo o yung sa public, uh, kung malaki yung position, medyo mahirapan kang ikat yan. Medyo antay mo mag-bounce yan. We don't know kailan, we don't know kung paano siya magbabounce, pero nakatali yung capital mo dyan. Okay? Kung maliit lang naman yung nailagay mo, kunwari worth 1 million yung portfolio mo, naglagay ka lang ng 20 mil, di ba? So kung 20 mil, uh, negative 30%, magkano yung losses mo nun? Sige, compute natin ha. Kung sabihin natin 20 mil yung nilagay mo, ayan, uh, sabihin natin 10,000 shares, around ganyan. So, around 7,000. Tapos, kunwari, 1 million yung portfolio mo, hindi naman significant yung allocation, okay lang ikat mo yan. 7,000, mababawi mo din yan. Kasi, hindi, hindi pa naman yan umabot sa parang 1% ng uh, 1 million mo para medyo damaging ng portfolio mo. At least, you have learned your lesson. Okay? So, what if, kunwari, uh, uh, pag-open, kunwari, pag-open yan ng 1.99, bumili ka dito. Okay? What if bumili ka dito, nag-anticipate ka na umangat, however, bumagsak. So, dapat pag bumili ka ng 1.99, dapat nga hindi ka bibili ng 1.99 kasi wala yan sa trading plan natin. Pero however, kunwari, natukso ka or sabi natin greed, no? na umiral yung greed mo, bumili ka ng 1.99, tapos instead na tumaas, lalong bumagsak. Saan so, yung gagawin mo? So, medyo malaki pa rin yung talo mo, 21%, di ba? Dapat napakat ka na nung sabi natin uh, hindi nag-hold yung opening price or kahit dito sa lowest price, dapat banda rito nag-cut ka na kasi may support dito. Ayan no. May support banda rito. Ayan. Dapat nag-cut ka na. Dito pala nag-cut ka na. Kasi kapag nag-cut ka, if you have bought it at the opening price of 1.99, ayan, kahit pa paano, 5% tolerable yung loss mo. Or kahit sabi natin umusli ng konti, 6-7% tolerable. Kaysa naman inantay mo dito, ayan, 18%, 19% malalim yan. So again, you have two options again. Asas mo yung sarili mo, malaki ba yung nilagay mo? Kapag malaki yung nilagay mo, medyo wala kang magagawa niyan. Nakatali yung capital mo kay Medic. Hindi natin alam on Thursday kung merong continuing selling. Kung magpapatuloy yung selling, mag-flooring, hindi natin masabi yun. So, nakatali yung kapital mo, nag-aantay ka, kaya lang magbabounce to. So, kung maliit lang yung nailagay mo, better yet, I advise you to cut your losses already. So, ayan lang. I hope uh, may natutunan kayo sa video na ito, sa quick discussion. And if you have any questions, you can comment it on the chat box or you can message me privately kung medyo sensitive yung gusto nyong itanong. That's all for today and God bless.